Hey, good afternoon. It's Jeremy Ward with Ward Realty Services. And I wanted to take just a few minutes here and go over our Southern Indiana real estate market, show you a few of the numbers. Uh, we did a video about a month ago, you may have seen it, and I was kind of looking at the numbers and I'm seeing an increase in inventory. And in my opinion, uh, I felt like that maybe our inventory would continue to climb <clears throat> as summer came, uh, COVID, it was kind of uh, on the back burner a little bit. So it's been a month since we did our last video and I wanted to just kind of look and see if I, if I hit the nail on the head or not. So uh, I'm gonna click over here and share screen um, with our MLS data for you. All right, you're looking here at the market watch. This is the Southern Indiana Real Estate Association's numbers that come straight from our board. This is a seven day uh, review of what's happened in the last seven days. So in the last seven days, we've brought on 84 homes to the market. These are new uh, active listings. Uh, we've had 14 more uh, listings come back on the market. Like I said, last video, it could have been because of inspections or somebody's financing fell out, but these were homes that were uh, pended, had accepted offers and have came back. Uh, and here's one thing that you'll notice that's ticking up. I'm seeing a lot more price reductions. So that tells me that maybe sellers were going in a little high, kind of testing the market and they've had to reduce it. They're reducing and improving their prices because they haven't got the offers they were expecting. Uh, we have had some price increases. Generally, this is with new construction and somebody's added on, uh, maybe finished a basement or something. So they've had to increase the price of the offer or the listing. Now, what's interesting is in the last seven days, we've appended 127 homes, which is more than we've brought on the market. And then we've had 154 actually close in the last seven days, which have been accepted, our, uh, accepted offers from, from the past that went into sold status today over the last seven days. Um, we have had four expire uh, in the Southern Indiana market, which is still a low number. Um, most things are selling, they're not expiring. They're not, when it expires, it hasn't sold within its listing uh, time period. So that's still pretty low. It, you used to see 15 to 20 expireds uh, weekly. So kind of looking at this, I mean, it still looks like we're selling more homes that are coming on the market. But I looked at my last video on 624 that at that point there was 400 homes available active on the market on 624 of 21. Two weeks later, I checked there was 438 active homes. So there was an increase of almost 10% within two weeks of active homes. Even though we're selling these homes really quickly, uh, the market's great. It's still a seller's market. We are seeing an uptick. We're kind of starting to build a little bit of inventory, but we're still at only about three, three and a half weeks of supply. Uh, this on today, I've checked the total amount of listings, uh, which is 729 of 2021. We're up to 463 active listings within our system right now for Southern Indiana. So <laughs> it's interesting to see even though uh, homes are flying off the market, we are seeing enough listings come. We are uh, putting them on the market and it's actually starting to build a little bit of inventory. You know, in months past, we were just going backwards in inventory. We'd have 400 one week, two weeks later, we'd have 350. So I'm interested in to see what's gonna happen over the next month with the kids going back to school in August. Um, you know, we are hearing uh, talks of this COVID, a uh, second round of it. So I'm very curious to see uh, what's going to happen over the next months. Are we going to keep increasing on inventory? Uh, I'd like to know your thoughts, what you're all seeing across the nation. I'm seeing an uptick in inventory, which is a good thing because we were just dangerously low in inventory. It's been great for the sellers. Uh, with that said, it's still going to be great for the sellers. Uh, there's still more buyers than sellers, so it's still a very strong seller's market. I do feel like we're still seeing some appreciation in the market for the sellers, but maybe not at the rate we were seeing it, uh, it go in, uh, you know, going up over the last six months to last year. It really, we saw some 
huge increase in appreciation, which is good for everybody. Now for our buyers out there, the good news for you guys is there's, there's more options. You know, you've got about 10% more options than you had a month ago sitting on the market today. Um, so that's good. You know, we're still seeing multiple offers, but it's not at the point we were seeing them before. Uh, so this is going to hopefully lead into a more healthy, balanced market at some point. But I am curious what your all's thoughts will be as, as, as you're seeing, you know, kids going back to school. Are people going to go ahead and list their house? Or have we seen uh, our surge in listings? And now that kids are back in school, it's going to come back down. So won't know. I don't have a crystal ball. Uh, I expect the inventory to keep coming. Uh, I think there's a lot of inventory out there that was kind of put to the side. People are getting their vacations behind them now. And for myself, I know I have about a page and a half of listings that we've got coming to the market over the next month. Uh, we've done met with and got agreements signed and just, you know, waiting for repairs and such to be done that we found while we were at the appointment. So anyway, that's my two cents on Southern Indiana real estate market this week. Uh, I'd love to hear some feedback, what you're all seeing, what you're thinking. And obviously, if you've got more questions that you want to talk in depth, you can call me at 812-987-4048. Feel free to call any of my agents at Ward Realty Services. You can see uh, find our website, wardrealtyservices.com or the jeremywardteam.com. We'd be glad to share what we, uh, what we see, uh, what we know. And just any questions you have, we'd be glad to answer and just be of some value to you. So with that said, it's uh, 729 of 21. That's our real estate market update for July. I hope to see you next month in August and we'll talk about it some more. Have a great day.